it was called reformist from a point of view where the revolution was seen as a catastrophic change. This idea of a catastrophic change is uh, not something that uh, is uh, free of all historical constraints. And it has been proved to be completely wrong. Change in a, a, a catastrophic change is generally understood as a change in state formation from the absolutist state. Okay? So I can't think of that as a catastrophic change. It's a, or a catastrophic change, less so, but still it, national liberation. Listen, I was born in British India. It's a, I can't think of that as a catastrophic change. I think this catastrophic change concept should be given a decent burial. So in other words, to understand the way uh, uh, capital works, no extra economic coercion, I quote, 19th century philosopher. And so th there, you really have to engage processually, day by day, week by week, all over the globe, to to dismiss it by saying they're keeping the old system alive and just reforming is really very, very dated. It, come, it dates from the time of the absolutist state. It, it seems to me that one should, rather than uh, ask why is it not reformist, I mean, ask what is it to be reformist? And where does the idea of catastrophic change come from? we should actually change our vocabulary, not just change our vocabulary, because as I was saying, just changing words doesn't do anything, but not use these words to dismiss things. Look at the way in which they're operating and really learn to know things differently in our changed circumstance, rather than not know them by using this kind of rational choice vocabulary that already exists, where you say, uh, this is not my own, okay? That is it's so wonderful. That a string quartet and a spider resemble each other because they both have eight legs. It's not a fry. I mean, that's how you recognize whether it's reformist because it's interested in changing laws in a structure that can be constantly changed. I think that's a very um, dated and mistaken way of using vocabulary not to recognize something that has changed.